Yes, blessed love, give thanks to each and everyone. Give thanks for your presence with us and this. Well, in my space, it's a wonderful uprising of the morning. And you're definitely into the tiger's nest, the Honorable Priest Isaac, with you. And uh, as you can see the title, we're definitely going to be talking about Haile Selassie the first battling the Pope of Rome versus the Pope. And let me say from the onset, that is not a clickbait. I know I have certain people that, you know, watch the videos that sometimes accuse me of putting up clickbait. I, I don't do that. I just tell you what it is because that's what it is, you know. As you know, there are different levels to look at things and people are going to say, oh, come on, these fellas never battle each other. And um, come on, man, they, they shook hand and they smiled and they, they spoke and whatever. But I'm going to show you the battle today in the celestial realms. Like when the Bible speaks of there is war in heaven, oh, you're going to see some of that today. I'll be presenting to you clips from the video in 19 um, in 19 the 1970s when Haile Selassie I visit Pope Paul VI in the Vatican and I will show you um, uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt that there was a battle taking place between these two individuals in the in the in the astral world in the spiritual world, in the physical world, in different dimensions, obviously something was taking place. So we're definitely going to touch upon that today, right here in the Tiger's Nest, exclusively an internet video. But before we go into that, I really want to touch upon something very important to me. And uh, it's actually a comment that was made under the Marcus Messiah Garvey video as it relates to Marcus Messiah Garvey and words that he gave to Haile Selassie I. Now, it's not even on the subject, really. It's a comment that was made by Blanca Miranda. And um, she is not, well, she or he, I'm not sure, but Blanca is not really the only person that makes these sort of comments. In fact, I don't think her comment is that hard, really. And let, let me just read what she says, or he says. I'm not sure if it's a he or she. I'm trying to learn here, with some exclamation marks, trying to sell too much. Then they have some money bags. Then they said, come better than this, brother. And some yellow faces and whatever. And um, someone comments, brother Kenroy Fortune, Fortune, interesting name, commented, and um, he was saying to Blanca that, you know, I, I, whatever I was saying was right, but I think Blanca now was showing Fortune that I'm not saying anything bad. I want to keep attention. I'm a subscriber to your page. Well, I guess she means my page. But the hustle is wrong. See them words there. But the hustle is wrong. And she has brother. Um, highlighted okay good now what I'm saying quickly and please don't don't fast forward this video I really want you to listen to this because to me this is very important and very key and I'm, and I'm taking this with respect to the feelings of Blanca you know uh, he or she whatever the case is now they are and give thanks to brother fortune too for 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 responding to that comment you know because that is very much needed and i will explain that when we go a bit more you know that that cyber security you know is not every as ivan van certima says when people literally criticize him i'm not saying this is a criticism specifically but when people criticize him he says this is van certima it is not his duty it is not his duty to respond to them, to write papers and write articles. It's the duty of those that say that they have learned something from him to go and write the articles and respond to them because he has much more work you know, to take care of instead of that. But I'm saying, yes, there are few ones that have made the comment 
you know, it's not overwhelming, but it's to me, it's enough for me to consider what they're saying. So individuals would say things like, my brother, that's the word of God you're dealing with. You should not sell the word of God. I'm sure some of you have read these comments and, and you know, this word of God thing, you don't sell the word of God and you can't sell salvation and all of that. Now, within that comment alone, see as the sister saying here, or oh brother, I don't know, saying here that uh, they're trying to learn you understand so they are their subscriber you know um, you know but yeah, yeah but the hustle all right now let me just deal with the word of god part first for those who you know say it like that now there's this saying that when you have a word from the almighty then there should not be a price for it now King Emmanuel teach us that the that salvation is free. Salvation doesn't have a price. You don't pay for salvation. You understand? Now for sure, you have to buy the Black Supremacy book, but you don't pay for salvation. Now we ain't selling salvation here at all. If an individual makes a statement like you don't sell the word of God, okay, first of all, if a man writes a book on how to fly a plane, don't you think after all that he puts into the book, he should at least get something for the book, sell the book? Well, yeah, I mean, but that's how to fly a plane. All right, good. So if a man writes a book on how to fix the carburetor of a car, don't you think he should be paid for, you know, the, the yeah, of course. Okay, all right, good. If a man makes a movie, because you go to watch movies, I'm sure you went to watch the Black Panther and some other stuff. You didn't make no complaint at all. You just went in. Um, I mean, don't you think they should be, you know, recompensed for the work that they put in? Of course. Okay, the shoes you have on. I'm sure someone made it, you know. But this is not the shoes of God. This is not the movie of God. Uh, but I mean, I wrote, I just completed my book the true biblical land of israel i just completed the book and ancient and modern revisited we we, we just completed the the dvd the uh, from the pisces age to the aquarius age which age we are in and we have other things what you're trying to say we should not in no way at all offer them for for purchase if possible this, this is wrong yeah why because i mean this is this is the word of god now anybody that says that i mean your tongue should just i mean come on so if it is the word of god and you think that it's too holy and too righteous to be sold from your opinion well let me ask you now since it's so holy what have you ever given to the manufacturing of the word of God because if you think that it is too precious and holy to be sold then that means you must have some other avenue some other way you yourself should be providing to this source where the word of God is coming from you should make you personally should be making sure that this word of God continues to pump so the word of God can write books and give them away for nothing which he does which he does but yet then you you are so uninterested that you haven't even come close enough to the word of God to see what the word of God really doing behind the scenes you understand? so to me if you've never uh, contributed to the word of God you should hush your mouth straight up because you're just condemning your own self with them kind of talk listen and you can't say you have because remember it's me you're talking you know I know who have you man you know and even if it came under another name you understand it's still because I mean I can be very clear there have there have not been any real big hitters when it comes to contribution, contributing to this specific thing that you're listening to, 
no disrespect to anyone but i'm just telling you the reality of it the few that i've touched i've even mentioned their names in videos and i don't want to keep going over these kind of things i am saying to you that you do not watch my videos and get constantly interrupted by ads that coming from we don't know where you know it's not nice to be sitting down watching a video you know and you're well in the video then all of a sudden this ad comes up a, a half an hour video of somebody playing a video game and you have to get up from your seat and press skip ad then this other ad may come up right away and, and some sort of a, uh, um, um, some uh, rent a car or some fashion show coming up or join us in this island for its carnival and you know things that you may not even want to see just pops up you don't get that on my channel it's not monetized we've said this over and over this is not something that we have any desire of doing and even when we took the time to look into it we see it was not even possible because of the region where we were registered plus plus if you're really following you know that we are we have a strike against our channel you know man. and the strike has not been lifted as yet there's certain um, restrictions that we do have that you may not know about you know what i'm saying i'm just showing that to you so you're not interrupted by ads if you get into any interruption it's yes one of our ads and we have ads we make ads so that we don't have to keep speaking of what we have in the ads on the program you see like this long talking i'm doing now i soon that but you see like all of this i mean unnecessary to a degree we don't really go in no long talking we do ads and we put the ad at the beginning of the video and at the end and sometimes we put one or two in the middle especially if the video is wrong you were telling me something you want to tell me i should not do that who are you what wrong with you anybody that talk like that to me, you are a wicked. Anyone, anyone that speaks like that to tell me that it is wrong for me to write a book and sell it. I mean, give me a break, brother. What's wrong with you? Now, Sister Blanca or Brother Blanca, whatever, didn't really say that exactly. I read what he or she said. I read it. But they were saying, I know that video, the Marcus Gavi, I must say at the beginning, um, I was going into some detail as it relates to the, um, the subscription, not the YouTube subscription, the, the shock of the hour subscription. I was going into a little detail as it relates to that. And, um, I know I spent some time on that. I did. I think I spent like a good 10 to 15 minutes. But I was explaining a new a new program that we have. And I wanted the people, a lot of people contact me sometimes asking me questions about things that I know I've said 20 how many times. And I say, you see, everybody doesn't watch all the videos. So sometimes you do have to repeat some things just, you know, even quickly, just so everybody could have a clarity. You understand what I'm saying? So I decided at the moment and that was at the spur of the moment too you know i mean listen 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 first of all this is my time and i work with the spirit as you say the word of god i work with the spirit and is the spirit coming to me and talk is the spirit have me talking here you know? and this ain't me really you know? it's the spirit so if i feel to put a 10 minutes into telling my audience clearly how they can make some money by listening to me so everyone can start to get a bread for, for doing a little easy, simple thing. What's your problem with that? What's your problem with that? And I have to make this clear. Because I'm not sick nor tired. I'm very well and healthy, but some of you need to ease off their meditation there. That's why I said to even, um, again, the cyber, the cyber security. Sometimes it... A person would comment and I take a while before I answer. Why? Because I'm waiting for the Van Sertima theology to kick in where those who have learned from you can come in. Like there's this person that, uh, I don't understand you, your priest. 
What kind of man are you? <laughs> I've asked you to speak upon the virgin birth topic already and up to now you don't do a video on it. Now I'm sure there are people who saw that coming that know we did a well-compact um, episode directly dealing with the virgin birth. But what am I saying now? You can't just disrespect me and talk to me. So who's you? You humbly ask, my Lord. Have you ever touched upon the virgin birth? Do you think you can? Then I would quickly say it's in the... and may, I, I would put the link right there for you so you could jump on it. This is a learning process, brother ancestors this is not just stats dates and, and 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 evidence this is a learning process we need to learn how to deal with each other we need to learn the situations that we are in i'm learning as i'm going along i'm learning as i going along why, why do you think i have that that um, infomercial that i do trying to explain to everyone what is really happening there's a lot of things happening behind the scene that i won't tell you here maybe maybe three months ago i would but i've come to learn that no matter what you're saying the people not really responding to the plight you know so it's just for you to do what you got to do so it's just for me to do what i have to do and i'm going to continue to do what i have to do so sister blanca uh, blanca, uh, blanca i mean sure or oh, this nobody no man but just take your time you know don't feel no way i don't know who you are I even pressed your name to see and it's just like your name blank i didn't see a thing no videos one subscriber i don't know if that's you you know so i mean i don't even know who i'm dealing with but you know exactly who you're dealing with and for those who don't really get it i'm going to put that infomercial in this video i'm going to put it at the end so when the video done and you don't feel you want to watch the ads, you can lock it off. All right, let me get to what I have to get to now. I don't want to waste some more time. So give time. But I had to say that. I just had to. I just had to. You know, because this is more than, and, and class today we're going to study this and that. This is more than that. This is interaction with people. You know, I, I come on the, 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 the internet and I, I, I tell you personal things about me. I explain things about me and, and go into myself sometimes. So obviously, that's an energy that's gone out. I don't know nothing about you. So yet still, I'm doing it with the trust that you have at least respect for the reality of who is before you. I'm not an actor. I don't paint my face and then come and talk. This is me. Who you see here is me. I mean, you still can't really know me by looking through a screen obviously not you know what I mean but still who you see is who I am I don't come I don't change my voice I don't change my face I don't do nothing I just this is me so respect me for what you get and if you think it's the word of God and it shouldn't be so well trust me and you're not doing nothing to assist the word of God you should just be quiet straight up now, speaking of the word of God, <laughs> yeah, you that. so, yes, yeah, so as I said now, this is in the 1970s, and Haile Selassie I uh, visited, I think this would be the last visit to the Vatican. Now, you see this here? If you have not ordered, and uh, yes, ordered the... Um, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Is Haile Selassie a Mason? Is Haile Selassie a Mason? And someone has already put that on the YouTube, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just letting you know. But of course, you understand what it's all about. So I'm sure sooner or later you still get your copy. But is Haile Selassie a Mason is a video lecture that we did. And um, within the video lecture, I mean, it's in depth. And our video lectures do not come on YouTube. As another thing, people have problems with that too, you know. Or oh, is it nothing to hide? Or, 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 or. This is really, I don't want to go into that. Let me not go there. I will address that some other time if it's necessary. Good. Now, I'm just saying that it would have been good if you had seen that for those who are really serious, man, 
because what I'm going to touch now, you know, it may it may even create weird comments. But for those who are serious about the study and really believe the word of God thing that you're talking, you should have already contacted me through the email and you should have already ordered and received your copy of Is Highly Selassie Amazing. I ain't got no apologies for saying that. All right, Sister Hustle? Yeah, straight up, you should have. That's the reality of it. Because what I'm going to go into now, by right, this, this belongs to the class that has already studied that. It needs to be studied. It's nothing you can find nowhere else. It is nothing that you can find anywhere else. So it's precious information. So contact me, man, and get a copy of Is Highly Selassie Mason. If you're really serious about the knowledge, this is not the, you know, entertainment business. This is the educational vibration with a little inspiration too. Now I'm going to be showing you this video and we're going to follow along with what is taking place. Now, first of all, so here is Haile Selassie coming into the Vatican here. And um, you'll notice he, he has uh, this, this entourage with him, but these are really the, the, the individuals from the Vatican itself. Now, if you watch good, this individual here that I refer to as the deceiver, I will show you why. If you notice now, the deceiver, deceiving the emperor now, trying to, he's telling the emperor, let us go down this passage. Now, it's obvious that they were going straight, like, you know, like coming towards us here who are watching on the screen. It's obvious. So the deceiver now, he's saying, let's go down this way. So the emperor turns with him. And you'll notice that what the other individual that is to the left of the emperor, he is actually stretching out his hand as if to grab the emperor. Watch this. As if to hold the emperor to tell him, no, don't go that way. In fact, you can see when he drops his hand, it's as if he's saying, come, come, don't go that way. Now, this is serious. He stands up, and as the other cardinals or whatever they are come in, they themselves look slightly bewildered, like, why are they going down that way? I would believe that's the question that they're asking. Then you see the deceiver come back out, trying to usher all of them to go down this way. All right, and now the, 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 the fellow that was to the left of the emperor, he obviously has a problem with this because he's going to the deceiver now. Like, I mean, come on, what, what, what you doing? All right, and then there comes another individual from, from, let's just say our direction, the direction that they were going to first, here comes another individual calling them, saying, no, 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 come back this way. And then they return. Now, what's going on here? Remember, you know, now this deceiver, as I call him, he is very key. Because there's going to be a part in the video where when Emperor Haile Selassie meets Pope Paul VI and they shake and they make their comments, they're going to go into a room. People are in the room, everyone will go into the room, but the emperor and the pope goes through a specific door. The room has several doors, but they go through a door and nobody else goes through the door except the deceiver. So all these fellas you see walking with the emperor coming in, none of them go through the door, only the deceiver and the emperor and the pope. Then they lock the door and everybody else find the next door to get in. So it's obvious that the deceiver has some level of ranks. So we have him here telling the emperor, let's go down this way. It's obvious that everyone was coming straight. It's as if he just had an idea, like, okay, let's go this way. All right, brother, is your place, let me see. And then, but well, what is very key is that the other um, cardinal or assistant, whatever, he stretched out his hand as if to hold the emperor to tell him, no, come back. 
Come back. Watch that. And then when the other fellas come in, they're like, what's going on? What's, what's happening? And the deceiver come and say, come, let's go this way. And he go up to the deceiver like, no, you know this is not right, Leroy. Well, I'm just <laughs> pulling the name out the back. And what is key now? Someone from our direction comes and say, hey, no, let us go this way. Hmm. You see? And if you watch, when they're coming through the doorway, I think there's some level of fright that has troubled him. I don't know what was happening there, but something don't look right. Yeah? This is, this is not a movie, you know, man. But when they're coming through the door, you will notice the deceiver squeeze his way through. He squeezes his way through the door. I mean, he could have at least, you know, step, stand, stood up for one second and let the emperor pass through and then walk in behind. But I don't know, he just squeezed himself through the door. And when the emperor meets Paul VI, the Pope, they shake their hands and they go into this room and the deceiver follows and the door will be locked and if you look through here you see something that looks like a one eye inside of the room all right so the meeting is going to begin and look at these these two ethiopians now they are part of the ethiopian crew they're right there in the room and look at this, you know, cardinal, if he, that's what he is. He comes and he's asking them to dress back. But look in the manner, as if to, come on, dress back, fellas. Look at that. They had to have to touch up their chest and, and feel them up. And look at that, you know. And then he puts his hands on his hip. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Vatican, brother. <laughs> yes, anyway. So antics now you know you know what antics you know what's antics all right mm -hmm. now the emperor is going to speak here and we're just going to take in a bit of you know the holy voice with the black i am mm -hmm. The <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to make some observations quickly, a few things. Let me just give you an idea of what happens because we don't have to go through everything. You could go and watch the video yourself. The Emperor is speaking in Hamaric to the Pope and afterwards the emperor's translator which is Haile Manasse you know Manasse Haile Manasse Haile Selassie's interpreter name Haile Manasse he's the one that tell you what the Manasse he telling you what the Manasse you know Haile Manasse very important very mystic and eh? this is why it's the mystic vibration so Haile Manasse you know will explain to Pope Paul what the Manasse and then after Pope Paul gets that, he, Pope Paul VI, by the way, he, not John Paul, Paul, he's going to speak to the emperor in French. And the emperor knows French, so no one needs to interpret it. Now, before we go to the depths, there are a few things now I want to highlight. This uh, fellow that's standing behind the Pope, now throughout the video, he's in this position now he has a bow tie on his neck but from the angle it gives this impression as if the pope himself has a bow tie on his head that's how it looks now i'm not mocking his holiness in a man <laughs> yeah and trust me that i was very sarcastic in that 
expression there, but not mocking him. But because we're dealing with Freemasonry, oh yeah, that's what's going on here. Because we are dealing with Freemasonry, I think that it is key to highlight uh, that because it's angles we're dealing with. All right. I'm coming to all of that soon. Now, just above the emperor's head, there's this picture on the wall. Now, because of the, the, you know, the quality of this old video, I'm not too sure what it is. It gives this impression as if it's either a coconut tree or some sort of landscape, but I'm not sure. Really, I am not, don't know what it is. But it appears at least from the angle that we are getting it from, it just gives this appearance as if it's a Rasta man. So it appears. Now don't lose you, lose your head now. I know some of you are going to say, oh, come on, Rasta, you need to stop this thing. No, no, oh my, come on, come on. Take it easy with your brother, no man. I'm not trying to force it down your throat. I'm not saying, look, the Vatican have a Rasta on the wall. I'm just saying that's how it looks, you know, like to me. And I'm sh I know I'm not the only person that sees this. If you look good, it looks like the rats here. You see the eyes. You see the nose. You see the mouth. You see the whole figure of the face. And you see the locks as if he's looking down on the interview or the, the reasoning. That's how it looks from this angle. Remember, we're dealing with people that deal with angles and light. Certain cathedrals in, in Europe you see the the cross in the window pane and when it comes to the 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 spring equinox and the fall equinox when the sun rises the sun hits the window pane at a specific angle and then all of a sudden a rose appears just for the day yeah. so you have the rose and the cross the red cross the rashid crucian i mean it's all one thing anyway it's talk when i say red cross i mean uh, i mean the red cross too you know Oh, not just the color of the cross. I mean, the red cross. Okay, I hope you follow me. So it's all Freemasonic. You comprehend. So so light and angles, they deal with that a lot. I mean, those of us who built the, 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 the pyramid of Giza, we understand the importance of the balance of light and the angles that they fall. So this is, you know, kindergarten stuff here. But whatever, the point is that it just gives this impression. Okay, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It, but it gives this impression as a ras with locks looking down. All right. All right. Let's get to the hot stuff now. <laughs> if you notice, the Pope has been sitting with his, his hands, you know, in a clasp, interlocked position for a long while, since he's been sitting down. And the Emperor now has been um, himself sitting with his hand on his sword. The emperor has his sword, by the way. You don't bring weapons into the Vatican, you know, but the king coming with his sword, St. George slew the dragon. And the emperor's hand is on his sword with his hands interlocked as well. Now, you know, the emperor's signature is that Trinity that he holds, some people call it the Star of David, you know. Some people say that that as well is this Freemasonic hand sign. All right, but we know the emperor is well famous for that, for putting up his Trinity, for putting up the Star of David signal with his hands. Now, he's not doing it at the moment here, but he's going to do it in a moment now. Now, watch it good. When the emperor puts the hand sign up, the very same moment that he does that, the exact moment that the emperor puts his hand sign up, the Trinity, the very same moment, you're going to see the Pope release his hands from the interlock position. And he's going to do it slowly, you know, as if, I mean, he got to move smooth. 
as if somebody shot him and he's just gonna you're gonna see him shaking his hand and trying to hold on to the side of the chair but he's not looking off because he's looking at the interpreter the very moment now the interpreter is going to say uh, we're thankful for your cordial reception your cordial reception you so you got to listen for that and when he says cordial reception as soon as he says reception the emperor is going to pull up the sign and psh, the pope is going to get the reception as soon as he does it and when he does that you're going to see the pope release his hands at the same exact time remember they're sitting like that for a while now you know so listen this has been amply manifested in the last few days okay cordial reception let's see it again what watch the king's hand watch the pope hand movement Psh. One more time. And you could see him trying to to grab the side of the of the chair. <laughs> yeah. So that's a battle going on there. You don't understand. If you understood who these two beings were not just in flesh but in the ether in the different dimensions you would see the dragon and the lion going at it man claws in the face and fire breathing and all of that so now watch this good here we have now the Pope himself he is reading now his speech can he read his speech now the emperor gave his speech but the pope now he's reading his speech now there's a there's another area in this part now where the emperor now as you can see the emperor as i said before the emperor has his sword and he's holding on to his sword now you know this is in the vatican you know now if you notice there's a there's going to be a, a, a time where the emperor now looks down. Um, he's going to literally hold his glove. His gloves are off and he's holding his glove to the sword. And he's going to give the glove like a little tug. Just a little tug, you know. And then he looks back up while the Pope is reading. Now that's the first tug he gives the glove. Now he's going to come back to the glove again. And he's going to pull the glove slightly. And when he pulls the glove, the sword is going to jump. The sword is just gonna jump like a little tip, you know. Now you gotta listen to this. When the sword jumps, you're gonna hear the Pope say, "Ah!" <laughs> I'm not lying. As if somebody stick him in the side with a sword. Ah! And just to prove that it's ah, he says he's actually going to say Adisababa. And when he's reading, he's going to say ah, Adisababa. You know, like. He's, going, he's supposed to say Addis Ababa, but when he says, ah, 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 um, Addis Ababa, he doesn't say all the arm, um, but I'm just trying to show you. Remember, this is diplomacy. You got to be cool here. This is black magic going on here, the man. The emperor pulled the sword and the sword jumped in the same way when he put up the hand signal and you could see the frequency as if it's a laser fly across the room and pshh hit big man in his face and he had to just release his hand it's the same way when the sword jumped now he reading yeah check it out so the emperor pulls the glove first time he's going to pull it again when you pull it again watch the sword and listen to the pull 
de votre poterie. Le collège éthiopien d'aujourd'hui. Papy XII, son successeur, était réservé la satisfaction d'accueillir un représentant permanent de votre pays auprès du Saint-Siège. The sword. Il a voulu se faire représenter à Addis Ababa. Ah, Addis Ababa. Watch again, watch the sword go. Venant de votre pays auprès du Saint-Siège. Ah. <laughs> yeah man one more time watch the sword how it jump watch it exactly so this ain't no regular meeting this is no regular meeting this is the battle of the minds the battle of the wits this is more than just political geopolitics and this is this is the celestial war taking place in heaven as well look at this now when they you know completed that whole talking thing this is an area now watch this the 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 the, the pope of rome is showing the emperor something in this folder he has here now he's explaining to the emperor what's going on as you can see the folder is wide open you know and he's having a, a jolly good talk with the emperor here showing him what's going on now if you notice now when he's completed now the emperor is going to say something like, as if to say oh yeah i know about this and he points he literally points to something inside of the folder and if i'm wrong well you could tell me i'm wrong but look at the pope's expression he looks at the emperor and looks back in his fold and looks at the emperor again in a way likes to say yeah right you think you know everything watch it good watch it good see the emperor knows something there yeah yeah right okay <laughs> now now i'm not gonna rewind that but eve okay but okay so tell you let's just say that is not so i'm gonna show you why i think that is so because now he has a next folder to go into and this time now watch him good this time he he takes a while before he opens the folder and and he hardly opens it the king is watching to see what's in this one he he kind of open it a half when he close it back what kind of thing is this and now he's explaining to the king what's in the folder now the first time he was explain he was explaining but the folder was open and you could go in and read what was in the folder and because the emperor showed him well listen brother um, i think i know about this this may be a little whatever the emperor told him i don't know i don't want to put you know anything extra in the mouth of you know the ever living one but yet still um, um after he showed him that mr pope was like what yeah yeah right whatever and now the second time around he's keeping it a secret you see it this is live and direct this is no theater this is not a play this is real history documented before the eyes of the world and this video here is a video that i'm sure many of you have seen already you understand and um that is why i made it clear that to see to understand this even in the depths is highly Selassie Freemason which is the first video lecture that we produced that is something that you should see and that is not something that we have made available on our YouTube channel it is one of the very few very very few things we have not made available you understand um, so that is why and I know of course there are those that have seen a copy of that for sure and they could understand why it's necessary necessary to understand the dynamics of Haile Selassie himself as it relates to that whole Freemasonic concept and where he really stands within it you know um, to come into this realms now to have this um, Masonic battle this celestial battle this political battle as well terrestrial dimensional you know portals opening all of that is happening right here so even when the fella have the bow tie on his head 
I, I'm not a, I'm not surprised if that's how they plan it just to make you understand who he really is because you know they have to do that you know yeah man they have to do that it's as if there's this agreement this, there's this agreement that you must in a secret way let those who have eyes to see see who you really are so there he's sitting with a little bow on his head you understand you already see how they the security dealt with the Ethiopian delegates when they when they came in, you know, touching them up on the chest, and so you can see something funny in there, you know. And the the deceiver, I don't know what the deceiver had in mind, trying to lead the emperor down the wrong door. Even his own compadres were trying to hold the emperor to tell him, no, don't go down there, they're gonna kill you. <laughs> but I don't know, but why would he try to hold the emperor? Hmm? Why? And the others were well. And, and remember that's the deceiver that's not any old body that's the deceiver you understand hmm. so this is a serious battle here some of us we don't comprehend what the emperor go through talking about Selassie's a mason and all of that yeah people talk about the league of nations the house of masons so who brought the league of nations to rubble but anyway as i said you could definitely even check out that DVD documentary, um, the video lecture part, and, and you could, um, you know, get into the, the, the realms of that. Yes, yeah, so my brothers and sisters, that's it, you know, um, you know, you know, that's the that's the, the levels, man, especially those of us who hail the King of Kings, Negus and Negas. That is why I said on the, the video we just did with Marcus Garvey and Haile Selassie, you know, this there's no need to spookify the almighty eye, brother. Yeah, the Almighty ISA. There's no need to spookify the Most High, the Highest Himself. That's Him there. No need to add no special, you know, Shazam and Abracadabra, no sprinkling with no Jesus juice. He's just who He is. Haile Selassie is Haile Selassie. He ain't got to be God neither. That's my opinion straight up. You know what I mean? You don't have to live up to no God standard. You check it straight up. This is higher than the God business. This is highly Selassie. Who don't like it? It is your business. That is my theology. That's my philosophy. That's what we preach in church. Whatever you preach in your church, I ain't vexed with you. But that's what how it goes here. Look how you just break down the dragon beard, man. Digging him inside and, and lick him out. And <laughs> you know what I mean? Technical knockout is what you just witnessed there in the realms of all the different dimensions so that's how quote unquote god deal with satan that's how god deal with the devil live and direct <laughs> holy manuel rastafari so give thanks again for your presence you know for sure for those who are this is not a radio and program this was made specifically for the youtube specifically but of course as you know the mystic vibration um the shock of the hour is available every monday tuesday wednesday and thursday you know definitely uh, for those of you remember if you you don't see um, um, that's another thing let me be clear here too you know radio anu is a different entity than what's going on here on um, the youtube in fact um, Radio Anu has supplied the YouTube channel with many of its programs. The vast majority of the programs on the YouTube channel is from Radio Anu. So we must give Radio Anu a plug. It is just the reality of it. So for those who want more information, you can subscribe to the Shock of the Hour program that we produce. Each and every day, you get the Shock of the Hour in your inbox in your email every day you get the a program done the night before or the same evening and you have a monthly subscription and the subscription also gives you other benefits as it relates to information and inspiration you know so anyone that's really really want to keep up to speed with what we're spitting out because a lot of what we do on a nightly level does not appear on the internet a lot of programs and a lot of subject areas that i see people asking me to cover we have covered them several times they just may not be on the internet but they're still in our vault they're even still available 
and all you gotta do is to contact us don't be afraid you know this is your brother who loves you we're looking to liberate our people and let me just make it plain to you know as i said a cyber security man some of these weird comments some of you you need to attack them I, I, I'm going to I'm not going to jump on them right away I'm going to wait to see you know who attacks them who speak to them who put them in their place when I see people disrespecting my own children and I say yeah well them people I block them but when I see no one even respond to that I say okay I understand how the battlefield is yeah it's very important you know because if this is the person that is supposed to do the teaching yeah, I can't exert my energy. Some of these people that you see talking, they're not real people, you know. I'm not disrespecting no one that's real. But some of these people are computers. Computers. I'm telling you, you the word troll doesn't just mean somebody that's following you, you know. Some of them are not real people. It's, it's, it's um, artificial intelligence you're dealing with in many cases here right now. It just has been designed to off-track you. To send you off track so you got to be very careful they, they attack you in your live stream they attack you in so many different ways forms of and fashion you know so yeah do give thanks enough said if you know your bible and you do not know your history the knowledge of your bible becomes a mystery king emmanuel the seventh adonia i got ya rastafari The individuals now, you see the knights uh, on the side of the steps, they are lying on the side of the steps, and Haile Selassie and the Queen's mother comes out. Now you will notice that they don't have on their hats. Is it because it's very windy? Nah, uh, this is not how this goes at all, my brothers and sisters. This is ceremony, and this is an order. Only the the women have on their hats. You can see the queen and the queen's mother with their hats. And I'm looking good. You will see that obviously the the real knights, the soldiers, them in the armor, the armored knights, I should say, in them old time Roman armored vibes, have on their head, their headpiece. Now you will notice that as soon as Haile Selassie the first puts on his headpiece check it it is only when Haile Selassie the first put on his headpiece you could see the guards in the back putting on their headpiece look at that nothing here is by mistake this is not just happening by chance. The knights cannot put on their hats. Prince Charles doesn't put on his hat. In fact, it is when Prince Charles enters the buggy that you see Prince Charles put his hat on his head. And then they roll out. Now what is happening here? Greater than Solomon is here. You may not see that, but they understand what's going on. So this is why I'm saying that even from the time of, of the, the King Edward III, and that third is very mystic, King Edward and his son, the Black Prince, the Black Prince, Prince Edwards, the Black Prince, Prince Edwards, the Prince of Wales, interesting language. And now the current Prince of Wales is Prince Charles. Prince Charles, Edwards, Charles, Edwards, the, the Black Prince. The <laughs> what is this? Don't play around with me. Don't touch Blessed love my family, 
Give thanks for your presence. At this moment, we are on a mission seeking for real partners. We are establishing a real partnership in this what we consider a real war. Let me be clear from the onset, we will be speaking of finance. This is not a word to everyone. This is primarily for those who appreciate the works that we do. Those who love the mission that we are on. Not appreciate hate, which means to magnify the hate, but appreciate love. Magnify the love. As most of you would know, one of our videos on YouTube was taken down a few weeks ago. That left us with a strike against our channel and a handful of restrictions for us to go over. Many people has literally told us in the past that you should monetize your channel. Now to be very clear, I have no intention, neither did I have any passion whatsoever to do that. But even if I did, that is something that was never possible and is not possible now because of the restrictions number one that cannot be done and then again even without the restrictions it was already restricted in the region that i am in where i live so radio anu was also taken down a few days after and within a few days it also came back up as you also know Unlike many other channels, we do not make it a habit or even a part of our business at all to ask for any donations or contributions. This also is for several reasons. Number one, as we have expressed in the past, we honestly don't think that we should ask for such from an audience that can see the work that we are doing. Number two, even in the past, after being encouraged by others to solicit donations and con contributions, we established the PayPal system. Those of you who have attempted to contribute via that PayPal know for sure that it never worked. There was always an issue. Email and Facebook shut down several times, plus other things behind the scenes that I would not even mention here. No Patreon and being ostracized from the executive YouTube club, I am sincerely asking you, those of you who admire and appreciate the work that we do to assist us in this venture of uplifting our people, physical soul and mind. I am not asking you to contribute and I am not asking you for any donation. I am just asking you to patronize. You know we have begun to create a series of ebooks from Anu Ancient and Modern Revisited to the ebook the true biblical land of israel of course our children books like the great kings and queens of africa you know we have our video lecture series we also have our dvd documentaries from the master of ceremony seven and the night of the black tiger you also know as it relates to radio anu there's a monthly subscription where you literally get the programs that are done nightly on the shock of the hour. Of course, on one level, you will be assisting myself as I am also assisting you. It is just a genuine and justified exchange of goods and services. Now there's much, much more behind the scenes that I care not to say on this medium. Now I have no criminal record, well known and accepted in my community, but it seems like there is something coming out of my mouth 
that is a bother to some and I'm not cursing and there's no guile coming from between my teeth just what I consider to be the truth my brothers and sisters who love me and love the work as I love you as well I'm being very straight we're on the battlefield so I'm asking you to partner with me to assist me on the battlefield we're not asking for anything as contributions and donations, we are asking you to patronize what we have to offer. Give thanks. Obviously, there would be a reason why we ask. So you could email me, treatisaac27 at gmail.com, and I'll give you more information. I am looking forward to hearing from you. Salam ta. Alafia to each and every one. Salam ta and blessed love. Honorable Priest Isaac here. It is with great joy that I am happy to announce to you that I have officially released my first ebook and no ancient and modern revisited. This is the continuation process of our easy to read books. Within the pages of Anu Ancient and Modern Revisited, we take the time to show you the spiritual connection with the island of Antigua and Heliopolis in Kemet in Egypt, with the island of Antigua and the legendary continent of Atlantis. We also highlight Green Castle Hill, also known as Mount Anu, which is known as the Stonehenge of the Caribbean, with the countless of megaliths that align with the movements of the heavens. This is a must read for all those who are students of the esoteric realms, astronomy, geology, and ancient sites. Of course, to get a copy of your book, all you have to do is to contact us at area code 1268-728-3162. Call, text, or even WhatsApp. Or you can email us at priestisaac27 at gmail.com to get a copy of your ebook and ancient and modern. It is an easy to read book. We appear light, but it is extremely heavy.